Now let's talk about how to find the missing number in a problem that involves addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Here our problem says that some number times 18 minus 6 plus 25 will equal 127. To figure this out, we need to remember our order of operations. Knowing order of operations, we know that we're going to do multiplication first, and then we'll do addition and subtraction moving from the left to the right. Since the multiplication is actually the furthest left operation, this means that in this problem, we're simply going to work from the left to the right. But, since we're trying to fill in a blank and not try to figure out what goes on the other side of the equal sign, we're actually going to work backwards to figure this out. We're going to start by getting rid of this 25. Since it would be the last operation that we would do to add 25, the first thing we're going to do here is subtract 25. So if we subtract 25 here, we'll cancel it out, and we'll have to do the same thing to the other side of the equal sign. So let's subtract 25. 127 minus 25 is 102. Let's bring down the rest of our equation. So now we have 102 is equal to some number times 18 minus 6. Now, again, if we're working backwards, our last operation this time will be subtracting 6. So to do the opposite of that, we're going to add 6. So if we add 6 to each side, we'll cancel out our 6's here, and 102 plus 6 is 108. Now we have 108 is equal to some number multiplied by 18. Now, if we're going to multiply some number by 18 to get 108, we can figure out what that number is simply by dividing by 18. So let's divide each side by 18, and now we'll know that whatever 108 is divided by 18, all we'll have left on this side will be our blank. So 108 divided by 18 is equal to 6. That means we can fill in our blank with 6. 6 times 18 is 108. Minus 6 is 102. Plus 25 is 127.